welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to take a look at some programming options uh, with regards to synchronization and link movements. A link movement is the movement from one cut to another, from tool change point to the cut, and from the cut back to tool change point. Uh, and we're going to take a look at also some synchronizations and how Top Solid handles that. So to begin with, I'm going to zoom up a little bit here so that we can see what's going on in our simulation. And we'll go ahead and hit play. To begin with, you see the lower turret starting to index. You'll see the upper turret also start to index here in a second. And off they go simultaneously to cut, because why not, right? So if we speed this up some, you can see that the turning is happening on the right spindle while the drilling is happening on the sub, okay? If we zoom up on this and we let this finish, you can see that this is still moving over here, right? But this is paused because it's waiting, okay? Now I'm gonna slow this down some so that we can see this next move and I'm gonna go ahead and just speed past the rest of that drilling, okay? So now what's happening is the retracts are happening, right? We're indexing and wait a minute, that looks really close, right? So I paused my simulation and yeah, that's a, that's a little too close for my liking. So I think we should go fix that first. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at what caused that issue. So let's go back to our programming mode here. And we're gonna go to this roughing here, which this is what's controlling that link movement. We'll go into link movements, we'll edit the inner operation. Uh, let me shrink this down a little bit so you can see a little more easily. We'll bring this over here. So right now this is where the tool's coming from and it's gotta go back to the main spindle. Turn off automatic. So here we retract to a security cylinder. If I look at this straight on and turning so it's a little easier. Then we're moving up, which is great. And now here we're indexing B and orienting the tool. We're doing a shift in Y just in case this tool is offset and we need to go to Y. And now this is where the mistake happened. So we went down there first and there first. So what if we just flip those? Let's approach over here and then come down. And again, you can do whatever you want with your link movements in Top Solid. As you see, you have a wonderful visual editor to get that done. So we'll go ahead and green check that. And let's go back to our scenario file and let's take a look at that simulation once more. So we're gonna hit play. We're gonna let this start. And you know what? We'll speed this up to here, right? So off we go and actually off to there. Speed this up, it's drilling in. Okay, so this is where the link movement comes up. Get a little closer. And now here we go. Now there's that index. You can see that's much better. Staying above and beyond. And now we can go back to our turning and the drilling. So now this is going to be machining a few operations here. It's turning the face there, now it's turning the length there, all while this is going on here with drilling. Off we go. And again, that's just gonna retract and wait until this drilling is done. So let's maybe zoom out a little bit, bring this back to here so we're at the end of drilling, right? Everything indexes in and again, you get the point. Now we're going back and forth and sharing the operations wherever we can share the operations. It's going to come in, it's going to do some more uh, roughing on the sub spindle while the roughing on the main spindle is going on. We could have started it before, I was just picking different synchronization points just to show you that you have full control over all of this stuff. Okay? Then if we look at the posted code, you can see the two channels worth of code. And we can zoom down here and we get to where the synchronizations are called so that you can see that things are moving, being controlled properly in the order in which they are posted. And more importantly, the order in which they are controlled inside of Top Solid. Now, as far as how you add synchronizations, okay, it's pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch my view here so I can see like this. And I'm going to delete this one. So let's just delete that constraint. And all I'm gonna do is add a constraint. I wanna say, I wanna synchronize from here to there. That's it, okay? And now when I do that synchronization, that's what calls the M code for the synchronization. And it says, 
okay, this drilling has to wait for this operation to complete. And I do the same thing moving throughout here, okay? If you want an ultra safe way of programming, this is manual synchronization. I can delete all constraints and I can use automatic layout, in which case it's going to go very, very safe and do it based on the order of which you ran the operations here, okay? The other way, it's not that it's not safe, but it's optimized for production where you're wasting less time. Whereas this is going from this operation to this operation to this. These are the next three in a row. Then we're coming to here. So we're just going more of a back and forth methodology. Uh, again, post process, the weight codes are going to be in there correctly. The link movements are going to be in there correctly. And off you go.